क्वेश्चन नंबर वन प्लांट विद ओवरीज हैविंग ओनली वन आर फ्यू ओव्यूल आर जनरली पोलिनेटेड बाई बैंड बटरफ्लाईज बर्ड्स बीस करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए प्लांट्स विद ओवरीज हैविंग ओनली वन आर फ्यू ओव्यूल दे अंडर गो इन एमोफाइली एंड पोलिनेटेड बाई वेंड सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टू मेगास्पोरेंजियम इज इक्वल एंड टू एम्ब्रियोसैक फ्रूट नोसिलस ओव्यूल करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मेगास्पोरेंजियम इज इक्वल एंड टू ओव्यूल व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द ओवरी क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट कैपिटम नरिश द डेवलपिंग फॉलन हार्ड आउटर लेयर ऑफ फॉलन इज कॉल्ड इन टाइम सपोरोजीनियस टिश्यू इज हेपलाइड एंडोथीलियम प्रोड्यूसेस माइक्रोस्पोर्स तो इसमें जो करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है वो है ऑप्शन ए टैपिटम इज द इनर मोस्ट लेयर ऑफ माइक्रोस्पोर्स एंड इट प्रोवाइड नरिशमेंट टू द डेवलपिंग पोलन ग्रेन सो करेक्ट आंसर है ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन जनरली जनरेट्स लार्ज बायोमास न्यू जीनेटिक रिकम्बिनेशन लीडिंग टू द वेरिएशन प्रोलॉन्ग डॉर्मेंसी लॉन्गर वाइबिलिटी ऑफ सीड्स Correct answer is option B. Sexual reproduction produces new genetic recombination that leads to the variation in plants. Question number five. Advantage of cleistogamy is no dependence on pollinator viviparity, high genetic variability, more vigorous offspring. Correct answer is option A. Cleistogamous flowers do not show self pollination. they produce seeds in all condition because they are not dependent on pollinators question number 6 perisperm differ from the endosperm in its formation by fusion of secondary nucleus with several sperm being a diploid tissue having no reserve food or being a haploid tissue correct answer is option b Perisperm is different from the endosperm because perisperm is a diploid tissue while endosperm is a triploid tissue. Question number 7 What is the function of filiform apparatus to give rise to the seed to guide the pollen tube into synergids to guide the pollen tube into antipodals all of the above correct answer is option B filiform apparatus is present in synergid cells of egg apparatus and it guides the pollen tube into synergids question number 8 pollen tablets are available in market for breeding programs in vitro fertilization for ex situ conservation or for supplementing food correct answer is option d pollen grains are rich of nutrients so pollen tablets are available in market for supplementing food for athletes as well as race horses Question number nine. When margins of sepals or petals overlap one another without any particular direction, the condition is termed as vexillary, imbricate, twisted, velvet. Correct answer is option B. When the margins of sepals or petals overlap with uh, one another without any particular direction. then this condition is known as imbricate estivation question number 10 which one of the following statement is wrong regarding pollen grain vegetative cell is larger than generative cell when pollen is shed at two celled stage double fertilization does not take place in time is made up of cellulose and pectin pollen grain in some plants remains viable for month तो इसमें जो इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट है वो है ऑप्शन बी वेन पोलन इज शेड एट टू सेल स्टेट डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन डज नॉट टेक्स प्लेस तो ये एक रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट है क्योंकि ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी परसेंट जो एनजियोस्पर्मिक प्लांट है दे प्रोड्यूस आर दे शेड पोलन एट टू सेल स्टेज एंड डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस इन दैम क्वेश्चन नंबर अलेवन male gametophyte in angiosperms produces three sperms two sperms and a vegetative cell single sperm and a vegetative cell single sperm and two vegetative cell correct answer is option b male gametophyte in angiosperms consists of two generative cells and one vegetative cells so two sperms are produced from the two generative nuclei and 
uh, one vegetative cell is produces from uh, one vegetative nuclei so correct answer hai option b next question ki taraf jaane se pehle meri aap se request hai ki agar aapne channel ko subscribe nahi kiya to please channel ko subscribe bhi kar dein aur agar aapne neet ke last 10 years past year questions ki baaki videos nahi dekhi to unka link is video ke description mein available hai aap un videos ko bhi dekh sakte hain question number 12 द कोकोनट वाटर फ्रॉम टेंडर्ड कोकोनट रिप्रेजेंट एंडोकार फ्लैशी मिजोकार फ्री न्यूक्लियर प्रो एम्ब्रियो फ्री न्यूक्लियर एंडोस्पर्म करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी फ्रॉम टेंडर कोकोनट कोकोनट वाटर रिप्रेजेंट द फ्री न्यूक्लियर एंडोस्पर्म क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन फिली फार्म ऑपरेटर्स इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑप्शन साइनरजिड्स एल्यूरॉन सेल न्यूक्लियर नुसिलर एम्ब्रियो और जनरेटिव सेल करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए फिली फार्म ऑपरेटर्स इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ साइनरजिड सेल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फ्रूट इज पार्थिनो कार्पिक जैक फ्रूट बनाना ब्रिंजल एपल करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी गिवन uh, ऑप्शन में जो बनाना है ये एक पार्थिनो कार्पिक फ्रूट है क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 इन वाटर हाइकंत एंड वाटर लिली पोलिनेशन टेक्स प्लेस बाय वेंड एंड वाटर इंसेक्ट और वेंड इंसेक्ट एंड वाटर वाटर क्रांड सानली करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी वाटर लिली के अंदर पोलिनेशन टेक्स प्लेस होती है थ्रू इंसेक्ट एंड इन वाटर हाइकंत पोलिनेशन टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू वेंड सो करेक्ट आंसर है ऑप्शन B. Question number 16. In majority of angiosperms, a small central cell is present in the embryo sac. Egg has filiform apparatus. There are numerous antipodal cell. Reduction division occurs in the megaspore mother cells. The correct answer here option D. In case of angiosperms, reduction division occur within the megaspore mother cells. and four megaspores are produced only one functional megaspores develop into embryo sac question number 17 which one of the following generates new genetic recombination leading to variation nocular polyembryony vegetative reproduction parthenogenesis sexual reproduction correct answer is option d sexual reproduction is responsible for producing new genetic recombination uh, which leads to variation question number 18 attractants and rewards are required for hydrophily entomophily anemophily uh, cleistogamy correct answer is option b attractants such as flower color and flower fragrance and rewards which is in the form of nectar by the plant these are required for entomophily or pollination by insects and these attractants and rewards are used to attract insect question number 19 a dioecious flowering plant prevent both cleistogamy and xenogamy autogamy and xenogamy autogamy and gitonogamy gitonogamy and xenogamy correct answer is option c autogamy is a self pollination similarly uh, gitogamy gitonogamy is a pollination between the two plants two flower present on the same plants and these both phenomenon does not occur in dioecious flowering plants so correct answer hai option c question number 20 in angiosperm a functional megaspore develop into embryo sac endosperm ovule embryo correct answer is option a uh, megaspore mother cells divides and produces four megaspore only one is a functional megaspore that is develop into embryo sac question number 21 flowers that have single ovule in the ovary and are packed into inflorescence are usually pollinated by wind b water bat correct answer is option a flowers that have a single ovule in their ovary and packed into inflorescence they are usually pollinated by wind question number 22 uh, 
winged pollen grains are present in mustard, pinus, mango, cycas. Correct answer is option B. Pinus has winged pollen grains. Question number 23. Double fertilization is the fusion of two eggs, two eggs and polar nuclei with pol pollen nuclei. One male gamete with the egg and other with the synergid or one male gamete with the egg and other with the scandry nucleus. Correct answer is option D. Double fertilization is the fusion of one male gamete with the egg and other with the secondary nucleus. Question number 24. Which one of the following statement regarding post fertilization development in flowering plants is incorrect? Ovary develops into a fruit, ovule develops into an embryo sac, or zygote develops into an embryo, or PEC forms the endosperm. Correct answer is option B. Ovule does not develop into embryo sac, rather ovule develops into seed and megaspores develop into embryo sac. So option B jo hai wo incorrect statement hai regarding post fertilization development in flowering plants. Question number 25. In some plants, a female gamete uh, develops into an embryo without fertilization. This uh, phenomenon is known as autogamy, parthenogamy, syngamy, parthenogenesis. Correct answer is option D. In some plants, a female gamete develops into embryo without fertilization. This is known as parthenogenesis. Question number 26. Persistent nucellus in the seed is known as tegmen, chalaza, perisperm, hilum. Correct answer is option C. Persistent nucellus is in the seed is known as perisperm. And nucellus is a mass of nutritive tissue, uh, sorry, parenchymata tissue present within the uh, integument of ovule. Question number 27. What is the fate of male gametes discharged in the synergids? One fuses with egg and other fuses with the central nuclei. One fuses with egg and other degenerate in the synergids. All fuses with egg. One fuses with egg and other fuses with the synergid nucleus. Correct answer is option A. One male gamete fuses with egg to form zygote and other fuses with the central cell nuclei. Question number 28. The body of ovule is fused within the funicle at nucellus, chalaza, hilum, micropyle. Correct answer is option C. Uh, ovule is fused within uh, the funicle at the point of hilum. Question number 29. A typical angiosperm embryo sac at maturity is 7 nucleate uh, and 8 cell. 8 nucleate and 7 celled, 7 nucleate and 7 celled, 8 nucleate and 8 celled. Correct answer is option B. Typical angiosperm embryo sac at maturity is 8 nucleate and 7 celled thick. Question number 30. The term that is used for the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of a different plant during pollination brings genetically different types of pollen grains to the stigma. This is known as clistogamy, chasmogamy, uh, gintomogamy, gintonogamy or xenogamy. Correct answer is option D. Uh, xenogamy is a type of uh, pollination which brings genetically different types of pollen grains to the stigma. Question number 31. Identify the incorrect statement related to pollination. Pollination by wind is more common among the abiotic pollination. Flower produces a foal odor to attract flies and beetles to get pollinated. Moth and butterflies are the most dominant pollinating agents among insects. Pollination by water is quite rare in flowering plants. So, this is the incorrect statement. Hai, wo hai, option C. 
moth and butterflies are not most dominating pollin uh, dominant pollinating agent rather bees are the most dominant pollinating agent among insects question number 32 given below are two statements statement 1 cleistogamous flower are invariably autogamous statement 2 Cleistogamy is disadvantageous as there is no chance for cross pollination. In the light of above statement, choose the correct answer from the option given below. Option A, statement one is incorrect, but statement two is correct. Both statement one and statement two are correct. Both statement one and statement two are incorrect. Statement one is correct, but statement two is incorrect. So, इसमें से जो correct answer है वो है option B. Both the statement one, Clistogamous flowers are invariably autogamous, and statement two, Clistogamy is disadvantageous as there is no chance of cross pollination. Both these statements are correct.